guys, this is Joshua for NetbookNews.com and guess what we just got? It's the ASUS eNote EA800, uh, a device that we already saw for the first time here in Computex back in June. And uh, finally you can buy it over here in Taiwan. And uh, I think we got three of them, right, Nicole? We did, we bought three. We, we bought three of them also for uh, some friends at Laptop Mac. So Evram is also going to do a review pretty soon. So what is the ASUS eNote? It's basically, it's like a combination of an ebook reader and an electronical notepad somehow, yeah. right? And you actually can also doodle on it, as you can see, right? Because um, it comes with an 8-inch display and uh, it supports uh, a two th it's 2400 dpi and the resolution is uh, 768 by 1024 and I think it's like over 200 yeah, different... 256 different pen pressures it supports. There you go. Yeah. So, as you can already tell from uh, the picture over here, um, that I draw for ASUS so <laughs> that they can put it on these boxes. You know, well, I have no talent to draw at all, but I'm good at doodling. Anyways, let's do a little unboxing. Um, this device goes for 239 US dollars. Well, there was a special pre-order price over here in Taiwan, so expect it to be around $250. Um, I mean, there's not much in the box, right? Here's the device itself. A nice little sleeve. Um, there is a little package of, I think, quick manuals and warranty thingies. Okay, we can skip that. And there should be a little PSU in here. There we go. It is a little PSU. It is really a little one. Wow, it's itty bitty. So, um, talking about battery life, by the way, um, it should run for some 10 hours while you're on Wi Fi. And it should go for, I don't know, 13, 14, 13, 13, 13 14 yeah. hours uh, when you switch yeah. the Wi Fi off. Mm -hmm. And has a standby time of 10 days. Okay. Uh, actually, it's, uh, in my opinion, a completely new device. Here we go. You know what? I would say it's an Apple Newton on steroids. <laughs> Even though that the Newton is like 15 years old or 16 years old right now. But uh, yeah, that's the real deal over here. So let's take a quick look around it. We have a kind of reset button, uh, a jack for your headset, micro USB, um, that's a, uh, a micro SD card slot. I think this is a speaker, power button, and that's about it. Oh, there's a two megapixel camera on the back. Ugh. How can I get this out of there? Yeah, I couldn't get it out either. Uh, okay, there's a two megapixel <laughs> camera on the back, and you can actually use it when you are able to uh, get your e-note out of this fancy little leather sleeve. Um, and, and it takes color photos. It takes color photos, yeah. even though that this is a gray scale mm -hmm. uh, uh, screen. So you know what, let's switch it on. Because finally we managed to um, flash the ROM from a Mandarin version to English, which was a little bit tricky at the beginning because, uh, well, it wasn't tricky at all. We've been just too stupid. <laughs> so anyways. Uh, so this is the first time we're seeing an English e-note on camera. Yes. Ever. Absolutely. Look at that. So that's, um, that's the main screen. And as you know this already, there is no backlight LED. So it's just using bright sunlight or your artificial light in your room. And uh, so these are the pre-installed programs on here. This is for note taking. There's an e-reader because of course it's also an e-reader. It here's a camera and over here you can even do a voice memos. Of course it also comes with a music player. And a calculator? I have never tried on the calculator. What does that look like? Woo! That's a calculator. We have a couple of buttons over here uh, on the bottom that you can switch on and off. I think you're doing it over here. Yes, the soft buttons. So whether you want to use your uh, uh, the touch screen together with a stylus or you want to use some of these buttons over here. Let's go back to the home screen and let's take a look at the second screen. We have a dictionary, we have a couple of settings, a web browser. Of course, you can also surf the web. How about that? Because, ah, uh, you know what? That would be kind of hard because, we, first of all, we need to look into the Wi-Fi. 
probably could set this up uh, pretty easily. What you definitely notice right now, it takes some time to uh, to load the browser. And then you can only use it, or I could only use it in this panorama mode. Okay, here we have our network. Let's connect to it. Oops, quickly. That's my favorite kind of tea, in case anyone was wondering. That's what I named my network after. <laughs> Okay, I think we're connected right now. Let's close this. And there you can see the browser, which is of course also in, uh, well not black and white, but in gray. And uh, how about surfing over to our favorite site. Oops, that was only one O. And then you can see how the experience for you guys will be if you want to surf uh, on the ASUS eNote EA800. Because it's all gray. And even though it comes with an accelerometer, right? Uh, I think you, you just can't surf. Uh, yeah, you can't surf in that mode. No. Yeah. But still, you know, that's all that's how our website looks like. All grey. And as I said, yeah, well, at least you can surf the internet. And you can surf the internet for quite some time. Let's go back to the home screen again. Uh, we also have some games here, Bubble Breaker and Sudoku. So pretty basic applications. I'm not sure right now if Apple is uh, Apple. Holy mm -hmm. shit! Mm -hmm. If our ASUS is also going to uh, come out with a kind of app store for it, so that we can uh, install additional uh, programs. But uh, how about getting over to Notes? And let's open an, a new note. I can show you. Well, of course, you can use this virtual keyboard, but we have the stylus, and of course, we can also write on it, right? Talking about Apple, I think this was the first one on the first Apple Macintosh uh, when it came out. And uh, let me show you what you can do with it. So we have different pen strokes over here. Right, we can use a thick one, and again, you see that it reacts on the different pressures. And I'll put a little bit more pressure on there. So this is really cool. And you have our different grayscales over here. So let's let's use a nice uh, a, a light one. Now a very thin one. I really like this. It's just perfect to to doodle. And uh, how about a highlighter? Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So, uh, what else can you do? You can change the background. And ASUS has a couple of templates for this. So you can see over here, for example, now think about this. You have to do a presentation, or you're at a meeting, and you need a pie chart. So, uh, we're using this one, and then you can, oh, well, you know what, how about getting, starting a new one. And then you can, of course, uh, say this would be 20% even though it looks more like uh, <laughs> I don't know 30% or something so I think you're getting the idea right uh, pretty cool device if you really want to take notes and everything and uh, if you even want to surf the internet and for $250 uh, this is definitely not only an ebook reader it's an ebook reader on steroids it's an uh, it's a notepad an electronic one 
and it's just fun to play around with it and um, to really use it as a, a device that you, for example, want to take with you at school or on your college and for note taking. Really, really interesting device. This is the Asus eNote E8, EA800. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.